the ninth annual volunteer fair is is it's is exactly how it sounds although yeah. um uh this is more than just a volunteer fair so so tell me about june tell me about this saturday june 10th what's going to be happening at the marshall's museum so we will have a little over uh well we'll have almost 30 organizations 28 if you want to be the exact uh that will be nonprofits, local museums sites around the local region that are needing volunteer help uh, so it's kind of a, a one-stop shop for everybody that they can come in, people that were looking for ways to get out for the summer, people wanting to do stuff in the community, people that are wanting to maybe school internships and so forth. And so it's just a, it's a great chance for everybody to kind of see that what all the local volunteer offerings are in the local area. Uh, the mayor is going to come out. He's going to give a speech at noon. Um, so, and that's pretty much it. Well, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just like, you know, it's, it's, it's that, but uh, you know, a lot of sites will have their own volunteer fairs trying to garner them. Uh, we just we just do it for everybody here. We just set up one time and everybody comes down and you can go to almost 30 different organizations and find right. out what fits best with the different people that are involved. So. And what's interesting is it has grown over the nine years to where you had to move to a larger space. That's right. Yeah, we've we were running out of room, uh, not only for uh, the visitors, but for the organizations that were involved. Uh, we used to have it above the amphitheater there in Fort Smith. And then, like I said, we just ran out of room. Good problem to have. We started out, I started this nine years ago, or I guess it'd be 13 now, minus the lost COVID years. Uh, but we uh, we just had the local downtown museums and we were successful. And so other nonprofits started getting a hold of us and then it grew and it grew. And now here we are almost 30 organizations in. So The 30 different organizations that are out there, they they range from nonprofits, but they're also like the historic district or or yeah. a, a state park or describe what some of these are, are going to be there. Oh, that's a good, that's a great question. So basically, uh, we have a couple different groups. Like you said, we do have historic sites. Um, we have all the downtown sites and the museums that are here in the local downtown area. Uh, obviously, Fort Smith National Historic Site, us with the National Park Service, but several local museums, the U.S. Marshals Museum, which is opening on July 1st. They'll need lots of help. Uh, so uh, you can, if you ever wanted to volunteer at the Marshall Museum, this is your chance to do so. Uh, but then also, we've got other groups that really do an enormous amount for the community uh, with as as far as helping the anywhere from those who are homeless to those who need help with housing uh, the Ronald McDonald house um, you know there's there's so many awesome organizations that are involved uh, and and many nonprofits that are really doing an enormous amount for the community and this is a chance to help them out as they help other people out so and there's there's different jobs everything from you know if you want to be up front and speak to the community if you want to do stuff with people, They've got that. If you want to do stuff behind the scenes, they've got that too. So there's anything you can think of to give back. This is this is it. Not only is this informative, but if you show up there on Saturday from nine to one, there's a good chance that well, there there will be a chance for you to actually sign up and and register and become a volunteer right then. Right then and there. Yes, you don't have to wait. Uh, it's kind of a, like I said, a one-stop shop. You just go in, sign up, and you can start right then and there if you'd like to. Uh, go join the Marshall Museum. You're already going to be there anyways. Uh, but there's a lot of, like I said, there's an awesome amount of organizations that need help and and that can, we you know, when we first contacted them, I didn't have anybody going, no, that's okay. We don't really need volunteer help. Uh, every single one of the organizations you contact, like, oh, yes. You know, after COVID, a lot of people have dropped off. They haven't been doing as much. And now we're starting to see an uptick of people wanting to get out again. And this is an opportunity to have a, a, a good time helping people and, and a safe place to do so. Very interesting. You mentioned that this isn't just for people who are retired. You're working on some kind of a getting hours, service hours or something. This is a great opportunity. That's that's right. It can be used for, like you said, people who are retired that are wanting to go out and do something with their extra time. But yes, we have a lot of students, internships that can be filled. Uh, folks that are just looking to maybe, maybe learn some job skills and build up their resume. They can come down and meet with us. And um, even if it's not something that you can help with us, we can point you at the different directions and say, hey, go over there and talk to this site. They can help you with that skill and help you out in your future as well. Okay, Cody, thank you so much. Have fun this Saturday. Thank you so much, Darrell. I appreciate you very much.